right and center i'm nidhi rajdan why is a free press so important in a democracy like ours and why should governments stay out of any regulation of the media because we have to hold governments accountable for what they do and if the government begins to have a say in how the media should be regulated then we have a big problem that's not to say the media should not be regulated of course it should but it cannot be done by the government so when smriti rani the inb minister came out with an order to crack down on fake news earlier this week there was a huge media backlash because if she had had her way journalists would have lost their accreditation based on a mere complaint by anyone even the government the prime minister had to step in and the idea was scrapped but now smriti rani has another great idea she's constituted a committee to frame rules to regulate news and media websites it's a 10 member committee comprising of secretaries of various ministries and some others but there is no representation from the digital media why there is also a raging row right now over the reconstituted press council of india that looks at the print media the revamped council has mostly government friendly faces so is there a pattern here is the government trying to control the media it's recognized as the buzziest media and their editors are protesting the government's move to regulate them ironically the order came from the same ministry information and broadcasting one day after the prime minister snubbed it on the fake news check but there are several objections there is no representation by any online news online content is already regulated by the it act but most importantly online news outfits are being denied the chance to self regulate like print and tv news have done it doesn't come under it ministry at all uh i think the inb ministry will consider about it whether online issue has to have a structure or not as far as we are concerned we are fully supportive of the free media i'm sure that you know that this is not the government's platform and i will definitely talk about this issue from a government platform i have to ask madam madam that is your pleasure to ask but it's also my right not to answer digital news media are perfectly capable of regulating themselves uh, a few digital organizations have already begun informal discussions about forming an association similar to the national broadcasters association to establish standards and discuss concerns the government should stay away from attempting to regulate news organizations in any medium a closer look at the committee reveals more issues not only is it dominated by the government but the press council of india or the pci described here by the bjp led government as an autonomous body is facing a row for one in the recently reconstituted pci the mp nominees are dominated by bjp mps the only non bjp one is from the aia dmk While a ruling party invariably dominates this a comparison with the outgoing one shows it had parties from across the political spectrum Secondly the list of the other new nominees from the press has led to protests and united bodies like the editors guild the indian newspapers association and the indian journalists union the editors guild objects to its nominee being dropped top newspaper owners in the indian newspaper society have taken the pci to court challenging its rejection of one of their nominees h n kama the pci has denied the allegations tomorrow several top journalist groups will be meeting to decide on how to counter the government's moves which are being seen as impinging on the freedom of the press apart from regulating online news and the pci controversy they will also be discussing a third front that the government has opened tightening the control over who gets government accreditation with sonal mehrotra kapoor in new delhi anusya mathur for ndtv So is the government trying to control the media here on the panel with us on NDTV this evening we have MK Venu the founding editor of the wire Abhinandan Sekri the CEO of News Laundry Suparna Singh who's the CEO of the NDTV group and has led our convergence uh, for for many many years we also have with us Vaibhav Agarwal of the BJP Suparna uh, let me begin with you and uh, your a statement that NDTV also put out earlier in the day about why this is so important you know a lot of folks turn around when they hear about media regulation and say that is the media escaping scrutiny why shouldn't the media be regulated like like anything else in this country what would you say to them you know i don't think nithi that anyone is opposed to the idea of a discussion on regulation um although i do want to make the point that there is an it act which is very muscular and which applies to the internet space i think the problem that people have is that this committee was announced as a stealth attack on the media and so that is where it's surprising 
if you look at the membership of the committee, you have five union secretaries. Um, so the government really is in pole position. You have zero representatives of the online media. These are the people that you're trying to regulate. Um, so I think we're open to the idea of a discussion. The second thing, I think the point that we made in our statement today is that the online world is perfectly capable of forming an organization, uh, much like the NBA does for broadcast. Uh, or the print media has its own regulatory body. So let us do it, help us facilitate that. And uh, in that aspect, we'd love to have comments from the public because more than anybody else, they are, they are stakeholders in this whole process. And so Abhinandan, why is this in a sense actually more dangerous when you try to control the online space? Because that is one space which um, in a sense is, is really, really free to, to, to write, to critique much more than say the rest of the mainstream media is. I think, um, A, there's the danger, there's also the danger because of the impossibility of the attempt. Because uh, you see, like in broadcast and in print, there are certain entry barriers. You need to get a license in order to broadcast to uplink, downlink using satellite. For print, you have to register with the registrar of newspapers and periodicals. Online, there is no such entry barrier. I can be sit sitting anywhere in the world and be running a website. So A, how are you going to do it? You'll pick and choose, you know, I'll regulate him, but I won't regulate him. I'll regulate her, I won't regulate her. So there's no mechanism. But more important than that, you know, any regulation, like Suparna said, of course, regulation is necessary for the healthy, for healthy competition and efficient running of any industry anywhere in the world. But when regulations are put in place, their intent is made clear. For example, in 2011, the Levison Report, which was a fallout of, now if you read that, I, I mean, I can quote some, I have to put on my specs. You know, it was the first thing, although it was done as a backlash to the horrific um, practices of some tabloids of tapping phones, the key points of the Levison Committee report, the first point was that it should be free of any government or corporate control. Despite everything that In went down So at that, that was time. The f that was the intent. They said that is number one. The rest will come later. So. If the intent is to have an efficient system, a free system and a fair system, then the composition of the committee itself should be free and fair in the sense that <coughs> whether you see when Australia put some uh, regulation in place in 2013, they've got a report, it's online, it's PDF, the Levison report is online. The way they got people on board, stakeholders, to be a part of that committee determined what the outcome of the report was. If the committee is such, then that makes you suspect the intent of it. And if, in fact, it is like it, the circular says, to adopt best practices, start the best practice by the practice of how committees are formed. If your committee is not formed using best practices, then what regulation yeah, will the exactly. best practices be? So, Venu, let's talk about the timing. Why is this happening right now? We're heading into an election year. It's a pretty crucial time for the government. Uh, there is going to be a huge news cycle yeah. all the time. Uh, and dare I say, I'm sure your website is one of the key reasons this is happening. Nidhi, I find uh, uh, there's another very dangerous element in the uh, in the that n notification or whatever that circular that they've released. Uh, look at the arrogance; it's full of bureaucrats, IS officers. I don't know what expertise they have to to figure out, uh, you know, regulating how to regulate uh, online media. And then it says that they may invite others. Uh, other uh, players, uh, uh, industry players, depending on their uh, uh, on on their judgment of whether they are fit to come there or not on the committee. Now, I think that smacks of arrogance. Number one. Number two, there is another one line which says they will also uh, regulate media aggregators. Now, in my view, this is this is the most dangerous part. Media me media aggregators means that they want to then go into uh, regulating uh, content that is uploaded on Facebook. Now, our small uh, media, online media outfits like ours or his, we use Facebook, Google, etc. They are our main distribution channels, right? That's what has given us such a huge uh, sort of play and huge reach, you know. So they, I suspect that they're also looking at eventually, you know, uh, eventually regulating what goes, uh, whether which video is uploaded on Facebook or whether the servers, uh, the uh, Indian content uh, which is getting uploaded on these global media aggregators, whether this, China has done this, uh, China is insisting that their server should be in that country and it cannot be, there are many, uh, many online 
uh, organizations today like Scroll, whose, uh, whose server is probably abroad, and may, may many online outfits have their servers not in India but outside. Now, this is a free space, right? It, uh, and it's it's a global uh, it's a global space. So why space. do it at this time? So so when so you that actually probably want the media to be on your side, right? So why do it at this time? No, basically they this is just a signal. Uh, they, they're just trying to tell the media that you behave. And my sense is that they, they're starting with this committee, uh, and the nature of the committee itself is so, uh, you know, so suspicious, as, as Abhinandan said. And from here on, they will, they will try to, they'll encourage speculation on what sort of, uh, you know, what sort of regula regulatory, you know, provision they'll come up with. Now, they, there could be licensing. Now, playing the devil's advocate, you can't quarrel with licensing because television is licensed and uh, you know print is also licensed. But you licensed. think this is just the tip of the iceberg? Yeah, so licensing is uh, one, one and after that they may move to other things as I said you know, uh, they may start sort of monitoring content and they, okay. they may, they may so insist on... So let me take this to Webhav who's, who's been listening to everything all of you have said. Uh, what this seems to amount to then Webhav and this is I think across the online space today this, this is coming out that this am amounts to censorship of, of the online media essentially. <coughs> Why shouldn't the committee have online representation to begin with? Let's talk about that. So, okay, so so a, f a few things. Now, uh, media per se is a very, very, journalists tend to guard their, their territories and their integrity is unquestioned. It's very important that their integrities are unquestioned. And I think the, the issue of government, a uh, first time in India, in the independent Indian's history, trying to, trying to regulate an unregulated space, and I'm going to pick up a common point across uh, the other three panelists, which is the problem is of listing of the people from the bureaucracy. Now, let's see why bureaucracy is important. Bureaucracy is important because they are the ones who do uh, national security, for example. They are, the, uh, they are the ones who do internal as well as external security. They are the ones who have an idea as to how the content is flowing from one end to another. They are in touch with external affairs. They are, they are in touch with other bodies. Why should any of that have a say in what online portals do? I'm coming to that. So, so that's one point. You know. Then um, who is to be fit to be on the committee? I think that's a very valid point. You know, who decides that? Why should it some that's IAS officer decide uh, whether I am okay. fit or Abhinandan so, is fit? So and I could, will I the could IAS go officer have question. no representative no. with them from the online no, so space? I mean, it just makes no yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. So well, firstly, digital is missing. Right. Completely. And it's government heavy. Right. So why should the government have any say in this at all? No, so we have to dif differentiate between media and content. Facebook, for example, will not categorize under media. Facebook. One minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. Facebook, for example. He's a media aggregator. One minute. May not. I am a digital expert. If you look through me, mm -hmm. I am on the board of ICANN. Uh, you know. So so the the idea is that. Media has to be differentiated from content. So, content aggregators and media aggregators, it's a, it's a definition that will evolve. Uh, and then let's China let's is regulating. Let's just, let's just cut out the digital sort sure. of definitions sure. here and just, you know, like, 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 just cut to the so chase. So, websites are a platform. Why is the government right. interfering and trying to, decide it, uh, trying to decide how online portals should run? The government is not trying to of do that. Of course, it's doing that. What the is government the is for? only trying Why to is the government being the regulator? The government so for has example, no business to be the regulator. So, so so, oh, government has all the business. No, and I'll tell doesn't. you why. For example, Where, if I was to, if I was to, should the government regulate the media? Oh, we have, we we have in UK. In UK, India's law is closest to UK. In UK, no, there no, is. No, I have in, the UK law right here in front are, of me. Th there no. are regulations. The print media is self-regulating. There is no statutory press council. Yeah, but self-regulating, right? Yeah, in India, in India, media is too free. You know, what? freedom media's of too speech. Free. <laughs> the freedom of speech. You the freedom of speech in India is no, no. reasonably free. You know, why don't we consider it to be free? Why don't you give us space in North Block and we'll we'll operate from there? You have to understand. This reveals the game. The media is too free. Too free. You know, also Nithi, I think that I brought it up earlier we have to look at the context of this uh, in 2015 when the Supreme Court struck down 66a uh, the government actually argued in court that uh, the internet should be more tightly regulated yeah. than uh, either print or television media thankfully the judges dismissed that argument um, this comes across as a very political proposition uh, to take charge of basically what is the youngest and most democratic of all media platforms and essential in India at a time when we're banging on about digital India, when we're going to hit 500 million internet users, uh, you know, in the middle of the right. year. Um, how on earth are we justifying this? The so other, sorry, just one second. Yeah. The other point I wanted to make is that uh, when we talk about self-regulation, 
Um, given how late India came to the online party, especially with content, uh, because of late connectivity and so on, I think publishers have been remarkably responsible so far in how they've acted. As an example, when Free Basics was coming in, NDTV was the first main online publisher that said, we're going to back out of this. We don't want to support this. Other media platforms then agreed and backed us, and that's what forced the government to make uh, it's Free Basics clear. dead yeah, on arrival. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, on so we have a history and a record in a very short amount of time of working together and of showing tremendous responsibility. And well, we, I want to say something. Yeah. Bureaucracy ki kya niyat hai? Look at the motivation. Television channels. Every no, no, that's no, 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 that's why it's a political party. Let me make. I'm making. I'm making some of the points. No, no, absolutely not. I'm making some of the points. I find you very out of line when you sit and say, talk about an IAS officer. You know, you and I would not even have a. I'm not on that. I'm not on that. I'm not on that. I'm not on that. He's saying, what is their local standard? Absolutely, they're running the system. No, I'm standing. Absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely, I'm stating a fact. Please listen to me. Television channels are licensed. Every 10 years, they have to go through the same processes again. Home Ministry clearance, this, you know, space department for uplinking. Last year, many channels, their licenses came off of renewal. Now, what is the bureaucracy's motivation? It's been months and their licenses have not been renewed. 100 channels are awaiting renewal of licenses. They are. So this are ministry you, are is you not looking at licenses when no, from no, from no, licensing no, 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 perspective just listen, just listen or listen. regulation perspective listen, I, I, you know, there is a regulatory there is only perspective, one perspective. I, I'm asked, neither that I, I'm not just, I'm not blaming just the NDA yeah UPA went through the same cycle yeah, in 2014 yeah, yeah. that's where yeah. she made the point 2014 about UPA had also stopped giving new licenses and they were, had stopped renewing licenses so this is a regular game that that the government plays, whether UP or India, no, but, but, and this but, has but to be registered. We, this has to be last registered. Last year, November, we issued 45 new licenses no, okay, to I reach to the total number of yeah, 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 वो भी समझदार हैं, लेकिन और भी समझदार हैं। If if the panel is entirely of bureaucrats, one is not saying they are not smart. One second, one second. Let me finish what I'm saying. Yes, I've seen it. I've got it right here. It's mostly bureaucrats. So what I'm saying is, it is not evenly balanced. And here's what I'm saying. Yeah. So and here's what I'm saying. Sixty percent IAS officers. Laws, laws anywhere in the world are catching up with technology. Technology always is way ahead of laws. Totally. And that's what India tried to do. One second. No. One second. But but here, it's. Not a few years behind; it's decades behind, and I'll yeah, illustrate something to you. And for that reason, the only advantage of coming last is that when you're climbing a mountain, you can see where others slipped and where they didn't. Right. What I find strange is that when we are coming last, the only advantage you have of coming last is you can learn from what the people in front of you have uh, have gone through. We have not followed any of those best practices. The word "best practices" is used in the circular. But in the formation of this committee, best practices have not been adopted. I don't think you can defend that. You can try. Secondly, so you know, let me bring this forward. Let me bring this forward. Let's just talk about there the composition the of the committee. Don't you think somebody from the, the digital space should be on it? Absolutely. Not just one person. If, if not the digital one. space is actually regularized. So last week when we were debating on, on the fake news issue, on the postcard news when you brought it up, and I said, I don't even know if there are news. You know, so I would like personally to differentiate between an NDTV and another news Who portal, to do that? you know, I'd so, like so just, be that. One thing. Just, because, just because I pick up a domain name with news in it, uh, does, not, does not make me authenticate authentic source of news. Give me where in news the world that has, tell me where what in the world the that has been done, just give me an example. Absolutely, Since you're, on the, you're a digital Absolutely. expert, tell me where in the Absolutely. world this distinction is made effectively. So UK is trying to do that, UK where has it been done? It hasn't been done no. in the UK. UK is in the world. trying to do that, Malaysia is already China, only China is doing And China, we can't I think we are going, we are going China so, you know, so my perspective on this and two of the biggest new uh, uh, portals, news portals, you know, I don't know if they're regulated as yet, uh, are sitting with us. And I would like to ask that if I was to host my content cross border, is none of us as citizens of India, we are equal stakeholders. None of us responsible for any content on our websites. So None we of us can we propose anything. Nobody is saying no. How Nobody do we regulate that? Laws in place. Are, How do we regulate that? Why is the IT Act there? There's an yes, IT there's an Act. Act that's Doesn't criminal and uh, civil yes, defamation laws. There's a lot of things that's working on it. Why should the government be the one regulating it? Right. 
So that That's is why we have the CEO of the My Gov. democracy. That is why we have the CEO of the My Gov. My Gov is not online space, sir. They are. The CEO of My Gov. My Gov is 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 digital India. My Gov is digital India. I'm sorry, that is not representative of online independent news publishers. We would try and collect digital platform together under one roof. That's the idea. That's My Gov. You do realize what you're talking about. Exactly. I mean, this is sorry. I have to jump in. For example, dot in. Dot in. No, no. I just have to jump in and say, in an election year, I'm sorry, but if your intent is open, play it straight. I think you know there is uh, we're going from being broke to now being totally broke on a paucity of excuses. No, Paired with I the earlier order on fake news, I just think that now this smacks of you know what I said earlier a stealth attack. There just there's no logical reason to defend. It. I mean, you, in which you can defend this. So uh, I'm not defending this. I'm just reasoning. Do you see that you can't say my gov dot yes, in and you know I'm, all no, that? No, because I'm, I don't even buy, frankly, and I said this when Weber was there. That the prime minister was upset, and you know, the yeah, yeah. Ba- I mean, I, I, and all that. I, 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 I would buy it. It was a collective cabinet decision. PM gonna, was very much involved. I'm going to quote yeah. something from 2013, and I wonder what Weber would have, would have said then. This is when Manish Tiwari was the minister, and they tried to IMB type. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. They, they tried to stuff in one such regulation, and mm. he said, "This is an essay in persuasion, not regulation. None of us bought it, mm. and we're not buying it today because the propensity of governments, and this is not a comment on." your government or right. any other government i think we've all made that is point, yeah. exactly is is to control the media and our propensity is to push back and if the intent is clean as you say it is it would be illustrated by best practice being adopted in the formation of the committee the third time i'm saying it's it excellent if that point. hasn't I been totally if that hasn't that. happened give me one but reason why the rest of us should sit pretty thinking that okay it's, this is all going fine it's an excellent point and i totally agree to it however it's just a formation of the committee we need to allow it to evolve for some time and and no. I, and, and i'm saying no. that that having i, I was surprised it. when i saw my gov on the committee my gov as, as and that is where the intent is that my gov will actually bring forth the entire digital initiative of the country for example dot in the national internet exchange and, who and does all my that my gov work for uh it's an uh, yeah it's but a, but no, it's no, working no, for the people of india it's not it's no, working no, for the no, people no, of india generic you know philosophical no, 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 even the prime not. minister My is working is funded for the people by of the taxpayers india, money also working for the people of india but yeah, 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 but that's government yeah. perspective you know, one My thing thing is, which is we may be actually missing is that while they're saying this only applies to digital and we are digital only but you are digital also and yeah. everyone is digital with convergence coming in like like today like there's a piece in business line that the government now is you know uh, pondering over taking fdi up to 49 for print as well because if everybody is chasing the same eyeballs online having you know 49 for uh, uh, broadcast and just 26 yeah, for print sort of doesn't make sense the, yeah. so Ooh. that is happening now is happening 10 years too late the two uh, reports i mentioned came out in 2013 2014 and 2018 we are not adopted get, those okay i want to get last comments from all of you and this is a sort of a bigger question but it is something that's come forward we knew from time to time yeah. do we still need an information and broadcasting ministry in 2018 we don't need uh, inb because we, w- once you have an autonomous prasar bharti and you know uh, some of those government media as a as an entity then you don't need uh, the inb inb ministry uh, in my view uh, has been around only to intimidate the media uh, one year before the general elections you know one year specifically one year before superna do you think we still need the idea of an information and broadcasting ministry it if it must exist let it exist to facilitate you know not to intimidate uh, intimidate sorry and i just want to say that you know the internet was founded on the principles and flourishes on the principle of no wall gardens you know and if you're trying to reverse that it's not going to work it really isn't abhinandan well i just like to say this is a bipartisan issue i just wish everyone comes on board and remember what no government is in power forever what they did with aadhar the upa did the nda has weaponized data and they're going to use it and i just find it really depressing that many journalists who i respect and i have you know when i was younger you know grown up emulating or trying to today endorse something which they opposed when the upa was in power that is truly depressing really? and that should not you be you found happening. journalists endorsing this yes and why do you think they're doing that because if it's my convenient. son does it it's it's bravery if your son does it it's it's Salman Khan. Is that a problem? I mean, is, I think it's is, a problem. Is that something it's, it's, for us to think about? Superna, there has been media. It's actually interesting because every, I was just mentioning this to yeah. everyone before we came. Everyone's discussing dog cat politics right now, yes, yeah. and I and we woke up this morning and said, no, this is a big thing. We need to follow up on this. Is the is the media sort of lack of unity something that exactly? I, in fact, there's a point yeah. I want to make, Nidhi. Yeah. Earlier there, was, there was an attempt to divide uh, television and print. Now the, the attempt to divide online news with uh, print and television. I think there's. T- it's time everybody got together 
and and ask for a, a broader uh, you know because acceptable self everyone. self regulatory I'm, I'm system because government you know i just think that you know the cohesion issue is so clear <coughs> even at ndtv whereas abhinandan said we have tv and we have digital the two function completely separately and i would hope that uh, agencies like the nba will not offer to speak on behalf of the online space let us form our own opinions and present those um really really important you know but yeah, i am should not be allowed to yeah. they shouldn't be allowed to and the fact that you know newspaper representatives or press representatives are you know going to make a stand for a digital just doesn't make any sense yeah superna should be on that committee why not <laughs> <laughs> well well i have My to God, leave it at that but again to remind our viewers nobody is saying that the media should not be regulated nobody is saying whether it's print television online that there should be no regulation the best practices the world over in democracies is that the government stays out of it that it is self regulation that is done by the media and that is what india needs to do india needs to strengthen uh, the, its media re regulation there's no question of that but the government needs to keep out of it because that is an uh, that is a huge conflict of interest the government needs to stay away and that is the only message that i think the media today is trying to give the government of india thank you to all of you for joining us tonight we'll see you again on monday goodbye